In this video, we're going to talk about which tasks volunteers usually do for a political campaign. Here's the short answer. There are many tasks that volunteers do for a political campaign. The better you make of volunteers, the more they can get done. And if you're thinking about running for office someday and want to know how best to use them, stick with me because I got a lot to share with you. What we're going to do a deep dive into this campaign is the most important thing to know about campaign volunteers, whether you're a volunteer or trying to recruit them. Things they can do at the campaign headquarters that are extraordinarily useful and easy to do. Things that they can do for a candidate that really helps the candidate stay on top of their game. And things they can do for the political campaign in terms of campaign outreach and advertising that are indispensable to a well-run campaign. Stick with me. We're going to do a deep dive in all of them. I'm going to start with this basic fact about campaign volunteers. No campaign can ever have too many volunteers. Volunteers are a very useful part of a political campaign. There are many things that they can do. But here's the point. You may be good at recruiting volunteers, but as a candidate, if you're not good at keeping volunteers, your volunteer effort is going to fall short. Finding good volunteers that are dependable and good at what they do is your lucky day. But you also have to make an effort to keep them coming back because it's one thing about a volunteer. They don't have to come back the next day if they're not having fun. That is the first thing is they've got to have fun volunteering for you. Now, the way to ensure that they have fun is you give them tasks they like to do, that they have some passion for doing. Don't ask them to do things they hate or they won't come back. You treat them well. You celebrate birthdays for your volunteers. When they've been out working all day, make sure they come back to hot pizza and a cold drink. Treat them well. Treat them like family. And they'll keep coming back. If you lose volunteers, you have lost a source of cheap and inexpensive help. So let's start with the headquarters task. What do volunteers do inside of a hand campaign headquarters? Well, number one, they answer the phones. The two, they greet people coming in the door. Three, they manage other volunteers walking in and help them get started with their assignments. Four, they greet potential volunteers who come in the door looking for things to do and make sure that they're used productively. They can open the mail. They can update the website. They can process checks that arrive at the campaign headquarters. They keep the place nice, tidy, fun, well-oiled, the refrigerator stocked with cold drinks and food for people who get hungry while they're on the phone getting calls made. Then there are the volunteers who can help the candidate. What do they help the candidate do? Well, they keep the candidate on schedule. They make sure that when the candidate is on the way to a meeting, that the candidate is well briefed on the person they're going to meet and what the candidate needs to know about that person. They keep the candidate well coiffed, well dressed. They look out for the candidate to make sure the hair looks right, that the tie is in place, that there are no stains or something on a candidate that embarrasses a candidate during a television interview. They sometimes keep the press separated from the candidate until the candidate is ready to talk to the cameras. They keep the candidate on time at fundraisers and social events. They know when a candidate is going to a neighborhood party who the candidate is going to meet and what the candidate is supposed to say per the host that's putting that party together. This is about helping the candidate be the best candidate that the candidate can be. Then there are the volunteers who do things that we call for the campaign. Now, what's that? They're going to shopping malls to pass out literature. They're going out and knocking on doors that they've been told to knock on and talking to the voters that they meet at those doors. They're out putting up yard signs. They're out in the community organizing a lead drop around a shopping mall or at a public event at a church parking lot on a Sunday morning or even a picnic or they're doing things at a parade. 
advertise the candidate's presence at that parade. All of these things are invaluable contributions that volunteers can make. There's yet another one, and it's become something in really important in the last 10 years, is volunteers can handle a lot of the social media interaction for candidates. Respond to email. They can respond to text messages coming into the headquarters. They can go on Facebook and post a new quote for the day or post a picture of the candidate that was taken yesterday at an event. They can do the same thing on Instagram. They can monitor the Twitter account or come up with a response to things that they think the candidate should prove for being distributed on Twitter. They can sit in an area of the headquarters and when the candidate wants to record a short video for YouTube or TikTok, they can have the camera set up, quickly do the edits and get it posted on social media. Now, young volunteers doing that inside a campaign headquarters do generally require some adult supervision, but man, it can save you a lot of money if you have talented volunteers who like doing that sort of thing, who are good at doing that sort of thing, and willing to volunteer their time to do it. Everything I have mentioned in this video are tasks that could be performed by volunteers. Now let's think about this for a second. Every campaign should have a budget. And ideally, in any campaign, you want at least two-thirds of that budget going to advertising and less than a third of it going to staff and overhead. Now, when your staff costs begin to exceed the money that you're putting into advertising, it really throws a campaign off balance. So how do you avoid that problem? So many tasks to do. It's with a volunteer force. People who are not on the payroll that helps you keep your headquarters costs down and helps you devote more money to the advertising to disseminate your message to the people who would hear it. This is why I don't understand sometimes that candidates look at volunteers as give somebody something to do when they walk into headquarters. It's opposite approach that they should take. Taking care of your volunteers is money that you don't have to raise to pay for staff. It's money that you don't have to devote to overhead. It's money that you save for advertising. Take care of your volunteers well. Like I mentioned, give them something they love to do, make it fun, treat them like family, and you too will have a great volunteer force in your successful campaign. So, I got a free gift for you. I've been on the inside of more than 400 political campaigns through the years, and I've seen candidates who made wonderful use of volunteers. I've seen campaigns where volunteers made the difference between victory and defeat. I've seen candidates treat them well. I've seen candidates who did not. So I got a video for you. Like I said, it's free how you recruit volunteers to a political campaign. It supplements everything that I just told you in this video. We go and do a deep dive, not only about how to recruit them, but how to keep them once you have them.